morning guys today we are going to perform experiment 5 pearls code modulation so what is the objective of the experiment to understand the operation function of function of pearls code modulation and to understand the operation function of differential pearls code modulation dpcm so what are the apparatus we are going to use is com master kit main board and the board we are going to use is 70073 preview for the previous exam uh, experiment we used 73 only okay for pulse co uh, pulse amplitude modulation for the previous experiment okay so now so uh, 73 board is totally digital board okay uh, so so the pcm comes un under the digital so so what are the output we got in the pulse code amp uh, pulse amplitude modulation that thing we will ask, uh, do uh, we will just sample uh, sorry we will quantize it okay we got a sample output from the pulse amplitude modulation okay uh, after sampling we will get we will do the quantization so after quantizing though you will get the quantized signal sq this is given by the step curve okay then this curve is just uh, like a flat surface you will get the the flat surface the samples you will make it uh, approximately to this flat surfaces it is this is nothing but flat top sampling like and Later we will do the coding. Okay, for zero it is zero zero zero, for one it is zero zero one, two it is zero one zero, so on. Okay, so this is the uh, we uh, we are with this is I think we are going to perform in today's experiment. Okay, let us start with the experiment. The pulse code modulation. Okay, this is the circuit diagram to generate the pulse code uh, modulation. <coughs> so before starting the experiment, let us uh, have the brief idea. Of the experiment first we are going to generate the pulse code modulated output okay they depend upon the quantization step how many quantization step we are giving and then we will uh, see the uh, pulse uh, encoded signal and then we will go to the dpc okay uh, this is pulse code modulation pcm okay here you, you can find this is the board Okay, the board number is seven seven zero zero seven three. Is the board number you can find here. Okay, so let me uh, do the connection here. You can see the connection. Just verify the connection with your circuit diagram. Okay. When you go to the procedure now, just we have to set the fre frequency to the for five kilo, five hertz, not kilo, five hertz, and the waveform is the triangular waveform here, okay? And the VPP is ten, ten VPP. The peak to peak voltage is ten, okay? Five volt, ten V peak to peak, and DC is zero. So here we have given the f function frequency in the function generator and the ten volt peak to peak, okay? Now just open the oscilloscope and see what make a channel Y2 and just time per division as 20 millisecond. Okay. Okay, preview. In this case, what we are doing is we, we will open the PCM control panel and we'll set the modulation into the linear form and the demodulation. Okay. Let me so here you can find PCM control panel. Okay, PCM control panel. I will set the modulation to the linear and demodulation to the linear. Okay, and active bits we will make it uh, depend upon the how many steps we want. Okay, now the requirement for the activity is four. So that means two power four. So it will be two power four is sixteen step. You will get sixteen steps. Okay, when you when you run this after making two, two oh sorry four so you will get this much steps okay uh, now we have a time division as 2 mil 20 millisecond okay let me make it large okay and we will count the number of steps here so if you can 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 number of steps that means 2 power 4 is 16 so based upon number of uh, bits 2 power 4 uh, it is it will be 16 if it is 2 power 5 it will be 32 bits uh, you can verify it oh 
our next uh, part is to generate PCM signal okay here you can see and let me show you okay so this is LSB low significant bit and the most significant bit okay from bit 2 to bit 10 it uh, 9 it will be the data bit okay so b0 b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 b6 b7 okay that means 2 power 3 suppose it is for 2 power 3 <coughs> and <coughs> and th the first bit is a start bit okay the more low low significant bit is the lowest significant bit will be the start bit and the most significant bit will be the stop bit okay and uh, the 11th bit sorry 10th bit will be the channel selection which channel you are using channel 1 or channel 2 so it will be based upon see if it is 0 it is the channel 1 here it is 1 that means it is channel 2 okay so 0 here it will be 0 and 1 only so it's for 0 it is channel 1 we have channel 2 channels on the board okay so based upon this we will perform experiment uh, second part So in the second part, you can find only here we will connect uh, this wire to the bit 0, okay, uh, bit 0 and bit 1. Or we will see only the two output here. We are not taking whole whole bits, okay. So just we will identify the 0 bit to uh, and the 1 bit only. So 0 bit and 1 bit, okay, from 8 kilohertz, we will connect it to 0 and 1. So here you can find. So here we'll connect this two and short it here, and we'll, this will be connected to the zero and one. So you can see I'm connecting it to the zero. Okay, from here. Another bit I will connect it to one. Okay, now we'll we are taking DC four volt. Open this digital analyzer. Okay. Wait a little bit. Okay. So here you can find uh, this is the some randomly generated signal uh, from the board. Okay. Uh, here, here. This is one zero one two three four five six seven eight nine. Okay, so you are getting totally nine bits. So first bit will be the start and st start bit, and from here it is B zero, B one, B two, B three, B four, B five, B six, B seven, and B eight. So other bit will be the stop bit, which is not shown here. So other bit is B zero, it is not shown here. Okay, you can draw this uh, simple way. This is randomly generated. Okay generated signal you can draw it from last DPCM okay so just let us make the connection from the just see the con uh, circuit diagram simultaneously okay uh, from 8 hertz to the PAM to okay and these two short this these two will be short here and this will be connected here and these two will be short this two will be short and this two will be short to short like this two will be shorted okay then this max to dmax okay first we will connect from ge from generated to the pam to okay then p parallel to parallel to series to series to parallel this one this is series to parallel, parallel to series. Okay, parallel to series, series to parallel. Then, see here you can find channel 1 and channel 2. So, here we are using channel 1. Here we are using channel 1. Here we have to use channel 1 only. You cannot connect channel 1 and channel 2. You will not get the output. Okay. So, you are if you are using channel 2, then you have to connect to the channel 2. So that uh, what we have seen in the previous signal signal generation, so it was zero for channel one selection and one for the channel two selection. Okay, so it's, this is the channel one and channel two.
associated pulse chord modulation output so this is what we will open the function generator and set the set it as a triangular triangular okay and make it 10 week peak to peak and 100 hertz frequency Hertz frequency and 10 V peak to peak. Okay, we set the function in generator frequency is already set now. And we'll go to the PCM control panel and we'll set it to the DPCM. Okay, now we will set it to DPCM active bits as 8, 8 active bit, and just take a single shot. Or let's, let's, let's go and take a single shot. Okay, you will get it as ah, okay. This is the for eight active bits. This is the output for eight active bits. Okay, here you just you can find the th these two peaks difference. Okay, that this is the actual channel one what we are giving the input, and this is the output y two differential different differentiated pulse code modulation DPCM. Let us go to the DPCM and we'll make the two bits four. Okay, you can write the peak here. So Y1 and Y2, just write the peaks to note down the difference. That's it. Okay. So let us now make active bits as four. times we have done for the four only so now now we will change it to the demodulated output linear we'll select the linear and here also linear we are not getting not differentiating now sorry so linear four active bits go to the oscilloscope take the two channels so this is the output so here you can find this this is y1 what is the input and this is the output uh, pcm output so this is demodulated signal suppose okay this is demodulated signal which has a uh, you can see number of steps while recovering it it gets somewhat distorted so here we complete our experiment five differentiated uh, pcm and dpcm okay so you can submit the experiment before next week. Thanks for watching the video. Have a nice day.